Hello everyone, this is me MD Sekhar. Welcome to new video tutorial on sort column effect. Let me define the sort column at first. According to IS456 2000, sort column is defined as a column uh, whose ratio of effective length to its least lateral dimension is less than or equal to 2L. That is LEF by V less than or equal to 2L. LEF equal to effective length v equal to least lateral dimension of the column but the column we are going to discuss in this chapter in this session is not same as for is 456 2000 it is different and is related concept so what is short column then short column that have short effective height with respect to the other regular column within the same story are called short column let us assume there are two column column a and column b in a story having different height the column B is shorter than the column A then, then in this case column B is a shorter column what is short column effect as we know that stiffness is inversely proportional to length orthic resistance is directly proportional to stiffness due to this lower effective height short column are relatively stiffer in comparison to regular column these columns attract higher value of earthquake forces than other longer columns, thereby make highly vulnerable to earthquake. This effect, in fact, is known as short column effect in case of frame structures. We always provide a rigid or semi rigid diaphragm during analysis, and, the, and that diaphragm assures the displacement at every point of the flow remains constant. This sway must be constant for each column located within the same story either it is long or short. Hence, for a constant displacement or story soil, the shorter column will be more stiffer than the longer one, and hence shorter column will attract larger amount of lateral forces in comparison to the longer one. Hence, it is to be designed for larger lateral forces. How short column occurs in the building? Case one: construction of mezzanine or intermediate floors in between the floor introduces the short column effect let me explain assume there is a three story building having two bay in the first bay there is a mezzanine floor in each story and due, due to due due to uh, construction of mezzanine floor the height of the column get reduces and the short column is formed due to short column form in that story the short column effect is introduced case second Construction of landing beam at landing level or stairway landing also introduce the short column effect. Let us assume there is a there is a staircase which is landed uh, on a landing beam and is joined with a column rigidly. Then in this case also two short columns are formed. And with the formation of two short columns, short column effect is introduced in the building. Case third, construction on sloping ground. When it is not possible to provide a fairly level ground for the for the construction of building the footing can be raised up and down and can be placed in different level which is usually occurred in hilly areas and the, the column formed uh, at the higher elevations are of shorter height and due to this shorter height of column the short column effect is introduced in the building case 4 Construction of partial infill wall also introduce the short column and finally short column effect in the building. Let us assume there is a three-story building having three-story building and four bays as shown in figure. In first and second story, ground in first story, there is complete infill masonry wall. But in case of third story, two bays are left empty and two bays are uh, partially filled. Due to this partially filled wall. The short column are formed as shown in the figure. Due to this short column, the short column effect is introduced in the building. Case 5 Construction of opening side by side of the column. See in this picture, the window is provided or the ventilation is provided just side by side of the column, due to which the height equal to the height of window, the height equal to the height of opening is uh, opening. Uh, is created uh, due to this short column the 
short volume is introduced in the building and the solution and these are the solutions that can be adopted in order to in order to reduce the impact of short volume or in order to avoid the short volume effect. For new construction building, short volume should be avoided as extent possible during architectural design stage. When it is not possible to avoid short volume, this effect must be addressed in structural design so that there will be lesser damage during earthquake. Also, the Indian Standard IS 3920-2016 for detailing detailing of RCC structure requires special confining reinforcement need to be provided over the full length of the column that are likely to sustain short volume effect. For existing building, in existing building with short column, different right of solution can be employed to avoid the damage in the future earthquake. When wall of partial height are present, the simplest solution is to close the opening by building a wall of full height. If it is not possible, short column need to be strengthened using one of the best or well established right of solution. Please like and subscribe my channel.